All right, Conor McGregor is back in the news with a potential leak date of his fight with Michael Chan that are apparently leaking on the UFC Fight Pass website, and Conor McGregor even tweeting it out himself. And yes, guys, I am back. I know you guys, you know, probably missed the videos or whatever. I saw some of you guys saying I was away in case you missed it, but I'm back with the daily uploads. Anytime that there's news, I will be back here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of the uploads. I was sad I didn't get to fully cover UFC 292, but it's okay. At the end of the day, guys, I'm going to be here for you guys starting now as long as I'm not away. But before we get into anything, Conor McGregor, Michael Chan, I want to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share because we're trying to hit 20k by the end of the year. And it would just help me out with the goal. And I'd be super happy, dude. So just do it for me. But Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler, obviously, we know what's going to happen with these two. They're going to fight in the future. We've been new this since about the beginning of the year. I mean, these two just finished the Ultimate Fighter season. I mean, all 12 episodes are now on ESPN Plus as well as the finale finally airing. So that's all said and done. So the only thing left really is what's going to happen with the fight date. Are they fighting this year, next year? Are they ever fighting? What's going on? There's a lot of questions up in the air, especially at this point. I mean, at one point, the fight was supposed to be in September, which would have been literally a couple weeks away. Obviously, it didn't happen, but then it was, you know, rumor for December. And then it was rumored like, hey, Conor McGregor might not be able to make December due to some sort of USADA issue. Because allegedly, now this hasn't been confirmed by Conor, but he used steroids to help heal out his leg. And yeah, I don't mind using steroids for that because yes, that was a really gruesome injury. I mean, we just saw Chris Weidman come back after basically two and a half years. And we just saw, you know, in that fight, I mean, he just tore apart his old leg. Like it's hard to recover from something like that. So you have to be very careful on how you're training. You have to be careful on how you're preparing and how you're recovering from it. And Conor has all the money in the world, so you could probably afford probably the best doctors, the best, you know, whatever you want to call it. He's doing whatever he has to do, I'm sure. So just to wrap that up, I don't mind him using steroids for that reason. However, if he's using it for other reasons or using it past that, that is where it becomes an issue. So yeah, the season of the Ultimate Fighter was over, and I think a lot of people kind of guessed, hey, it was going to happen next year in January. I was someone throughout the whole season of Tufts that, hey, don't give up on December. I said it in my last video talking about it, and it was for this very reason because in the middle of the night last night, someone discovered that if you, you know, search up this link, you can see UFC 296 Chandler versus McGregor, and it's a countdown for December 16th in the T-Mobile Arena. Now, that date, I think, makes sense. Having Conor at the end of the year is great, especially when UFC 300 is right around the corner, and Conor McGregor said himself he wants to fight Justin Gaethje, and he wants to fight Nate Diaz. So, Conor McGregor has a long list of things he wants to do, and if he wants to do them, I think he's better to return quickly, because Gaethje could fight Makachev, and who knows, maybe Gaethje could even beat him. That's assuming Charles doesn't beat him. I mean, there's a whole lot of things up in the air. My point is, is that the more Conor waits, the more question marks there are. Like, we don't know if he's going to be able to fight Gaethje, and there's no telling he's going to be able to fight Nate Diaz or wherever he's going to want to fight. So I think it's better to get this Chandler fight out of the way, because let's be honest, like I've said before, this is definitely the smallest fight out of, you know, all the lightweight contenders to make. So I think the faster he gets the fight done, the faster he can move on to bigger fights for the BMF title and that trilogy with Nate Diaz, which is what he seems like he wants to do. And lo and behold, a few hours later in the morning, Conor McGregor wakes up and tweets out the same screenshot of that website with no caption on it. And it is a little bit confusing, and there is a few questions. Is this even real? I looked it up. Now, in the middle of editing this video, I decided to do a little more research, and I'm realizing that UFC Fight Pass does not air pay-per-views in America. So whoever took this screenshot, and probably why there isn't so many, is because maybe it was from Brazil, who does air pay-per-views there and a lot of other places. So I was trying to compare it to other links. It does look kind of similar if you look up in America, at least. UFC 293 press conference, the link is strikingly similar. If you guys can see, I'll put them both as comparisons. It's a little bit difficult for me because I don't have the same UFC fight pass as whoever, you know, took this screenshot. And when you look up the link and I searched it up myself multiple times, it just says not found. Now, this could either be because one, I'm in America and they don't have pay-per-views on UFC fight pass here. But I suggest you guys look it up yourselves and let me know in the comment section below. I would assume that they took it down regardless. But yeah, I'm going to continue going on in the video. Now, this could mean, hey, that the UFC took this down, which would be even more damning evidence to say that this is real. Or it just never existed. I'm going to list some things on why I think it might exist and why I think it doesn't exist. Let's start off with reasons why it might exist, right? I mean, Conor McGregor himself tweeted out. Now, I know Conor McGregor has tweeted a lot of weird stuff. And you know, let's be honest, he isn't exactly a guy that is 100% truthful in his tweets. But he has been saying December 16th for a while. Conor McGregor tweeted last week saying December was back on the table. And no one has really shut down December. I mean, Dana White did say recently in an interview that he's aiming for the beginning of next year. But other than that, no one has directly said, hey, the fight's not happening in December. It's always been, hey, we're working on it, this and that. And let's be honest, this thing does look legit. Like the screenshot itself, I mean, that is what you see on UFC Fight Pass for a normal pay-per-view if you're counting down to UFC 293. Also, the countdown is legit. Like that is the exact time. But what are some reasons why I'm saying, hey, maybe we should hold off on this? Well, first of all, if you guys remember the Ultimate Fighter, the season was titled Team McGregor versus Team Chandler. And every single one of Conor McGregor's teammates or the people he was coaching, whatever you want to call them, they went first, meaning that probably the fight was going to 
be McGregor versus Chandler with McGregor in the red corner and Chandler in the blue corner. This was probably because they wanted it to be at welterweight and things were still up in the air at this point, but this has Chandler versus McGregor. And I know this seems like a very tiny detail, but it does say a lot, especially if this thing is true, because that means the fight would take place at lightweight. And to me, it's a little weird that they're both inconsistent. Like one says McGregor and Chandler, one says Chandler versus McGregor. So that could be a potential red flag to say, hey, you know, maybe this isn't real. But at the same time, like I mentioned, to be fair, they could have expected the fight to be at welterweight. And also, you know, Conor McGregor is the biggest name and they were going to have it on ESPN. So maybe they just wanted him to have the name. There's a lot of explanations for that, but I'm just saying that is something a little bit weird. Also, to be fair, Conor has lost a lot of weight and is looking very slim. So it could happen. It's just weird to me that nobody has come out saying, hey, that they figured out that this wasn't real. Like at this point, if there's a report that a lot of people are talking about a media member, like maybe Ariel Hawani or someone from PT Sports or something like that, they'll reach out to maybe Conor McGregor's team or they'll reach out to Michael Chandler, especially Michael Chandler, who is very vocal on social media about the fight. Nobody has denied this claim yet of right now as I'm recording this video. Not Michael Chandler. No media said the UFC said so. So that means I'm assuming that media probably reached out to the UFC and they've said, hey, no comment or maybe, hey, this is off the record, but it is going down. And maybe that people are saying, hey, this is off the record. Don't say it. And maybe that's why a lot of people are very quiet, especially Michael Chandler, which I'm very surprised about why he's quiet. I would have figured at this point there would be some sort of denial. And I think to me, that tells me that I do think that this is real. And this makes sense, guys. I've been saying since the beginning, I know a lot of you guys wrote off Conor McGregor fighting in December. At the end of the day, the dude's Conor McGregor, right? It doesn't matter if he, you know, enrolls in the USADA program. The dude has been saying, if you've listened to Conor McGregor, to be fair, since the beginning, he has said, hey, the USADA thing isn't going to be a problem. It isn't going to be a problem. I have it set up. I don't have to wait. He has been saying this all along. So if we really listen to Conor McGregor, we would have probably had these answers by now. And yes, I know it's hard to trust Conor McGregor. So I totally understand why nobody would. Look, I think that this is going to be a big deal if it does happen at the end of the year. I mean, you see this last stretch of pay-per-views. I mean, Poirier versus Gaethje 2 and then Sterling versus O'Malley. Then UFC 293, although it's a pretty weak main card, that headliner with Israel Adesanya and Sean Strickland is a pretty good fight. And I'm also excited for the co-main event. Then we go to October in Abu Dhabi, Oliveira versus Makachev. Then you go to November with John Jones, Stephen Miocic. And then at the end of the year, the big fight between Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler, leading into another pay-per-view that will probably be really good. I mean, you have Alex Pereira versus Gary Prochaska that could potentially headline that. Honestly, I could expect them holding off talent at the end of the year, just having Conor McGregor headline that card, and then moving that to a January pay-per-view. My point is that, dude, this might be a very exciting six months of the UFC that we have. And by the time February even rolls around, we might have Adesanya versus Drakus Duplessis in February. Who knows? I mean, there's so many things that could happen. And that's my point, guys. We are in for a really good stretch of pay-per-views. It goes past what's announced. But yeah, I think regardless, I think we're going to see Conor McGregor around that time, maybe in January or February at the latest. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. What did you guys think about this leaked news with Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler? Do you believe it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best fan base in MMA. Let me know in the comments who wins, Michael Chandler or Conor McGregor. I'll respond to you guys, and it'll tell me you guys watched the whole video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.